There are crystals everywhere here. That's a really nice crystal. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Polly. Today is gonna to be an amazing day looking for crystals because Avant Mining invited me to come out to one of their private crystal mines. And the crystals here are really, really nice. So let's go. This is Michael from Avant Mining and he's gonna be one of the guys helping me find a big crystal today. Where are we going first? Oh, we're gonna probably check out this pit down here. The other day we were pulling out some pretty big fatties, so let's see what we got going on today. Today is a very hot day, which is why I decided to hide my skin using this festive reindeer onesie. So you can find a lot of crystals here, but my goal and Dan Hurd's goal is to find a big plate. And what that is, is a big slab of bedrock with a bunch of crystals on it. This actually might be a plate and I picked it up by accident. Pointy, I found a pointy, pointy, pointy. Dan and I traveled out here to Arkansas with each other. So we're both finding the same stuff, but it became a competition. Who can find the best stuff? And I think he's winning. How you doing, Dan? I'm a winner. They're not. <laughs> I am getting cluster after cluster after cluster out of here. I've got a dozen plates. I wanted one. He's exaggerating. We have way more than a dozen. It's all in good fun though. Dan and I are really good friends and we're pretty much neighbors, so. Let's go on a ride. Oh. Let's go on a ride, Dan. Let's go. Holy crystal for you. Did you know how bad this feels? Oh, yeah. dirty? We're in this together. I had to take this stupid thing off because it's really cold. And I just pulled out a little pointy from Dan's rubble. <laughs> That's mine. So there is no real structure how we go about hunting. We just dig and hopefully find something. So I believe I just found my first little plate. This actually just came rolling down. Is that worth keeping? Yeah. Yes, it's, it's the best one he has ever seen. High five. A rock. So I just changed spots and I rolled the rock over and <laughs> look, look at that plate. Beautiful. I can still take this one home, but you know what? I still want to find my very own where I pull it out of the wall. It may not happen today, but there's a big chance because Nolan, the other helper from Avant Mining, is here to help me and save the day. What we're looking for is the crystal seams. There's always these seams inside this rock, and what we're trying to do is find those seams and basically split those open. As you split them open, there'll be crystals on both sides, and then you take that. That's what a plate is, and that's what we're gonna hopefully find. It's like a whole puzzle piece, you know? Like, yeah, just break. Get this one out the way, get that one out the way, finally be able to get to what you're after. These two crystals rolled out. I didn't see them until the sun flashed at them. If we can find a plate that has these size crystals in it, that'll be really good. So I just found this little corner of crystals right here, all underneath this dirt. So I'm just gonna move some of this dirt out of the way and see if I can open up something here. Might not be anything, but worth a try. That's a pretty cluster. <laughs> it's a triplet. Save that for later. There are crystals everywhere here. They're all falling out of this big clay clump right here. You can't really see much right now, but once we wash these off, you're gonna say, wow, there's a good one. That's a really nice crystal. Even though some of these crystals are really small, they are just so beautiful. Really delicious stuff. So I found this clay ball here. And what I was told previously is if you see this quartz line here, part of the seam, I wanna get all the clay off of that and it should have a nice little plate. Now obviously it's caked in mud, but we'll wash that and you'll see how beautiful this is. That's a keeper. <laughs> Yay! A tiny little plate. Ooh, is that tabby? So I'm just having a quick little break right now, hydrating myself mm -hmm. with water mm -hmm. and filling mm -hmm. up my stomach full mm -hmm. of crystals. And this is what we're looking at so far. I can't really show and highlight what all this stuff is because obviously this stuff is still really dirty. We'll do a nice cleanup at the end of the video. I still can't believe I'm all the way out here in Arkansas wearing a toque and a onesie, but I'm having a lot of fun. We are finding crystals and I feel like by the time I get back, I'm gonna be hooked on crystals. I'm already hooked on crystals. 
but me, but more so now. So we're gonna try opening up this little hole that I spotted here earlier to see if we can find a big plate or even just a single big crystal. And if nothing else comes out of here, we're gonna go over to where Dan was working because he's done his video and we just opened up another seam over there. Look at the crystals in this hole. That is so cool. Oh man, I want some of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the excavator and we're gonna try to pop some of these rocks off to see if we can find a nice plate inside there. Let's do it. If you love crystals and fun adventures, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss another upload. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a big crystal. Look at that one. You can see the shape of it. Look at this one. It's a double or triple. Could be a cross. Definitely not going to eat this one. It's a beauty. Yo, look at that one. Way to go. That's a good <laughs> one. That's cool. This is actually really satisfying. Just to peel back the mud, it can be hit and miss, but once you hit it, you're a happy camper. Some nice crystals up in there. Plate. Wow. That's a plate. That is a nice plate. Look at that. I cannot wait to clean this one up. That would be crazy. <laughs> Beautiful crystals up in there. You got your quartz seam underneath it. See, that's a nice little piece of candy. So my goal today was to find a nice plate. This is a nice plate, and I'm really happy with this. This piece right here, just made my entire day. Let's see if we can find some more. Ooh, wow. Another plate. Again, it's really hard to see with all this dirt on it, but this is gonna clean up real nice. Wow. That's a clean crystal. This crystal was attached right here. And no, I didn't break it. There was already clay in between, so that was a break that happened years ago. But it is sitting on this nice clustery plate. Try to get Polly to come over and dig my pocket because we left lots of great material over there. But the stuff he's getting here, way better. Way, way better. Forget my pocket, man. You've got it. You're finding plates, like beautiful Big plates. Big plates. Yeah, and I'm finding uh, just like craziness. I love craziness. That's why I like you so much. High five. You can't have any luck without banana socks. So what a lot of people don't realize is when you're looking for crystals and stuff, not only do you have to keep a really strong attitude and wear gloves, you gotta bring pickle juice because it makes you find more crystals. So this piece here is so solid into the bedrock, there's a good chance that there'll be crystals facing the other way. It'll basically be a 360 cluster, which is rare. I'm hoping that's what this is. Those facing the other direction. Uh, Just go straight up this way. Let's try and... <laughs> you can see the quartz there, so you know that's part of the seam. I think that's a plate. That's, that's a phenomenal plate. <laughs> yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, I just want all this mud off now. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. What do you think, my friend? I think you did it today. Well, you did, most, you did most of it. Okay, that is my plate of the day. I think I saw Dan go away with an excavator full, but I'm still happy. So this day isn't over yet, and I am so happy what we found already, but I still wanna go over there where Dan was working and see if I can find something bigger. Ugh, medic! That could be a really nice plate. Oh, that's a beauty cluster. That's better than anything I've pulled out today. Really? Oh, there's one edge that's broken. And you were here for what? 30 seconds? <laughs> Hey, don't laugh at me. <laughs> I know I'm excited and I keep dropping crystals down, but it's really important we save all this because the miners that are working here need to take this back too. Is that another floater? Oh my goodness. Okay, Paul, get out of here. Look at that one. How deep can you put this in your mouth there, Dan? None. <laughs> Check out these crystals. We have a lot of crystals here, but I've picked my favorite and the ones I want to take home. So check this out. This is a beautiful piece. Obviously it's not 100% cleaned up yet, but you get the idea. Now this, in my opinion, is the best piece I found this entire trip. It's covered in crystals from top to bottom. Now this is what you would call a floating cluster. Super sharp, no matter how you hold it. Here are some of the crystals at home. Still not fully cleaned up. I personally don't mind. One of my favorites I gave to my sister and this other one broke, but now I have two. If you wanna see all these pieces that we did take home all cleaned up, I'm actually just gonna post it on my Facebook and Instagram account because there's no real place I could post it on my YouTube. There is a lot of nice crystals that we found this entire trip, but I gotta say this one dig and these three pieces 
made the entire trip. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. Huge shout out to Avant Mining for letting us come out here and dig, and also for Mike and Nolan for helping us figure out where to go. If you're interested to see what Avant Mining is all about, I'll leave a link down below. There is a lot of events that they do, and there's a lot of nice things they do for the public, like public digs and whatnot, that I'm sure you will all enjoy. Now, if you wanna see anything else extra, like behind the scenes footage or hints to see what's coming in the future, I suggest you subscribe to Pioneer Poly or follow me on my other social media accounts. Thank you for watching, thank you so much for your support. Until the next one, I'll see you later.